Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truth. Oh, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, The Truth Show Deluxe, and also support my Patreon account. All links are below or at the end of this video. Also, don't forget to hit that bell. With that being said, let's get started with the latest information about OJ Simpson and the fact that he may have been lying about Chloe and Chris. Oh yes. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either end the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Okay, if y'all have missed it, OJ Simpson had posted a video on Twitter via Father's Day that he and Kris Jenner never had an affair and he wouldn't do that to Robert Kardashian, whom he calls Bob. I did a little video about it, but let's take a look at that clip one more time. Hello, Twitter world. This is uh, yours truly. You know, this is my first venture into the social media world and uh, it's amazing, <laughs> you know, especially how quickly they can put up counterfeit sites. Anyway, we'll deal with that. Um, my life has always been involved in the sports world, and I suspect as the weeks goes on, that's pretty much what we'll be talking about. But once in a while, I'm going to go off talk, topic and talk about something else, uh, and this is one of those times. You know, Bob Kardashian, he's like a brother to me. He's a great guy. He met and married uh, Chris, and they really had a terrific time together when they were together. Uh, unfortunately, that ended. But never... And I want to stress, never in any way, shape, or form had I ever had any interest in Chris romantically or sexually. And I never got any indication that she had any interest in me. So all of these stories are just bogus, bad, you know, tasteless. Um, Chloe, uh, like all the girls I'm very proud of, just like I know Bob would be uh, if he was here. But the simple facts of the matter is uh, she's not mine. Now... One of the people who spread in this rumor is a guy that the media loves to say is my manager. I had one manager in my whole life, Chuck Barnes, when I came out of USC for three years. Unfortunately, he died about 45 years ago. But even before he died, I opened my own office with uh, the help of Skip Taft, my lawyer, my um, two assistants, Marilyn O'Brien, the late Marilyn O'Brien, and Kathy Randa. Um, and I've always managed my own affairs, and I like to think very successfully. So when you see these guys like Norm and these guys claim that they are my uh, manager, it's just not true. I may have done a deal here or there with them, but none of these guys have ever was anything remotely like a manager for me. In any event, that's it for today. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Take care. Now that you all have seen that, now you can learn that someone had done a voice analysis and indicated that O.J. Simpson was telling, and I quote, bold-faced lies. You see, when he said the words never, and I want to stress, never in any shape or form have I ever had any interest in Chris romantically or sexually, and I never got any indication that she had any interest in me. You see, those key words such as never had any interest, sexually and I, well, it seems that the voice stress expert, Michael Severster, I may have mispronounced his last name, who analyzed OJ's words, concluded that OJ demonstrated extreme tension in refuting the affair. Now, just like I said in the last video I did about OJ and Robert, they go way back, like they were friends before Robert even met Chris okay and he and Nicole and Robert used to all hang at Club 54 and just like I said in the last video Club 54 if you know your little club history and Hollywood history was known to have anything going down in there okay drugs you name it anything it was like a huge sin spot for Hollywooders okay so with that in mind here's a brief word from my sponsor the world's falling apart Every day, another shocking headline makes you wonder what tomorrow will bring. That's why those who know what's coming are using today to prepare. I'm talking about getting your family some high-quality emergency food from My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply is a nation's leading preparedness company. They've been in business for going on 14 years now. 
and they serve millions of American families. Now they want to help you by giving you $50 off their popular four-week emergency food kit. Oh yes, you get four weeks of food per person with meals designed to give you more than 2,000 calories a day. By the way, this food stays fresh up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. Other food goes bad first, you know what I mean? So don't wait, go to prepare with my link with the truth and claim your four week emergency food kit. You will save $50 per kit if you act now. So prepare with me at preparewithtruth.com. Don't wait, do it today y'all. Hi, just because he claimed that Robert was a great friend, and I'm sure he was, it does not mean that the relationship cannot be fanned by the two, okay, of them getting together. This is uh, Chris and OJ. He definitely had a romantic and sexual interest. I mean, that's obvious. He changed the volume of his voice at times to conceal the truth, which a lot of people are known to do. However, did you all notice how he spoke out about Norman Pardo? I mean, he knew who said it and everything. I mean, truth be told, it could have been anyone. I mean, it could have just been something that just got conquered up by some fan or who knows. But he knew who started it. When a person has something to hide and only a certain amount of people know the truth, you automatically know who said it, okay? Because why a certain amount of people only know the truth? Not the lie, but the truth, okay? So when he said his name, bells went off in my brain. And, and I was like, okay, I think he's hiding something. Also revealed in a documentary that Chris and OJ used to hook up in a hot tub together. Oh, yes. So, yes, his ploy to shut down rumors didn't work so well. Because the voice analyzer also noticed stress increase when he stated, she's not mine. I mean, if he was certain, there should have been little stress. You know what I mean? So, however, this was not the case. Especially when he also said, not mine. You know what I mean? So you see OJ was lying and he and Chris are going to take this to their graves, okay? So I think we should also understand that they did like a DNA show on the um, Keeping Up with the Kardashians some years back and it was, you know, proven that Chris Jenner is her mother. That wasn't even a doubt anyway. But when it came down to her getting a test to see if Robert Kardashian was in fact her father, they didn't even do it. She didn't even take the test because I think Khloe Kardashian knows deep down inside that Robert Kardashian isn't her biological father. And she just don't want to deal with that scrutiny. And Chris Turner doesn't either. And OJ Simpson doesn't either. I mean, this is a fire neither, neither of them are capable of handling, okay? It's just a social media fire, especially where social media is today. It's, you might as well just get crucified, <laughs> okay? Because that's literally what's going to happen. You're going to be socially crucified, which is the worst kind of pain you know what I mean but those are just my thoughts tell me your thoughts below oh and again please don't forget to subscribe like and share sign up for my patreon account because I'm going to put my deepest videos on there like uh secret elite videos and videos that I cannot put on here because they immediately flag that will go on my patreon account anything in between would go on my truth show deluxe account okay but this side here, I will keep it real. I will give you the truth. I will be as safe as possible when I say the truth, but I will give you the truth. I will give you your truth, okay? So please subscribe to all three, support all three, and I love you all and all who came over here. And yes, I saw all the comments and the compliments. <laughs> Thank you. I'm a little shy. I'm re I have really, really bad stage fright. So I'm really trying here. So thank you all. Love you. Bye.